Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creative B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. Well, today I'm doing a review about Activity Mastery, which launches on the 16th of July at 9am. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button to like and the subscribe button to be notified about other videos of reviews and tips about making money online. So what are we looking at? Well, Activity Mastery is by Kent Lundman. He has created four other products before this. I've actually bought this and tested it and I've also bought his other products. So what does it do? Well, it helps you create activity books to sell on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. You can also create them for Etsy and other places if you've got your own printable store. But activity books, both for kids and adults, are very popular and not just during the holidays. My best selling low content books are puzzle books. Well, activity books have a mixture of activities in them, from colouring, mazes, word searches, etc. So, let's have a quick look at the sales page. So, what it says is, set and forget, passive profits are yours for the taking. Well, if you create a good book, the honest answer is yes. Some books that I created in 2018 still sell every day. So, you can, if you create a brilliant book you can get that there are millions of buyers because you are on Amazon and they don't just sell in the States they sell in the United Kingdom I've sold books to Japan I've sold books to Germany France Italy so you can sell these books and they are print books they're paperback books they are not ebooks so one activity book can earn thousands and we'll have a look at that just now no experience is needed all you need to do is a bit of research, but the hardest part of creating any of these sorts of books have always been software, being able to get hold of the software. And once people like Ken started creating these types of software, it's been a lot easier to enter the market, such as puzzle book markets and creating things like that. So what you do, once you purchase, you do get instant access. And I'll show you the back because, like I said, I actually purchased this. So why are activity books popular? Now these are screenshots of activity books and what he is highlighting is the best selling rank. The lower that number is, the best it's selling. Now this is 8,549 selling in all of the books in Amazon. These are absolutely fantastic and we'll be selling quite a lot of books and we'll have a look at a calculator to show you. Activity books are evergreen unless you have a vacation sort of theme or a holiday theme such as Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween. But generally, they tend to be evergreen. But everybody did see a huge spike with COVID-19 because a lot more people are at home, can't go out, shielded, all sorts of things like that. So that the demand has got bigger but it is continued even though lots of places have started going back to work and things like that. So the demand never stops. It is a huge market and there's so many different puzzles, games and more. There's loads. Looking through them all from colouring pages to word puzzles to trivia, etc. And yes, colouring books are still very popular. And you can get started today. Activity Book Mastery creates the activity pages for you and you could be published within the next 24 hours. You could be published less if you know what you're doing, putting everything together, which he actually teaches you. So he shows you these, how to how the software works, but there's a lot more training with inside the software. These are real results. Now, I don't usually like showing results. I don't know if they are his results, but they... they are what Amazon results look like when they print them. Uh, they're usually the monthly ones. So what do you get? It's The front end is $47. There is one upsell, which is $24.95, and it's for trivia, and I'll show you that as we go in. So it's all about automated activity pages, coloring pages, mazes, paper games, comic page templates and complete training. Comic page books are they amazing how they sell. So this is what it looks like and it creates the mazes. So Ken has said on his page that yes, it's evergreen. So let's just check to see if that is the case. 
So what I've done is I've typed in activity books for adults. And yes, there is a lot there. There's over 30,000 results, activity books, but you can break them down. Now, if you have a look, I know it's a swear word, curse word, but look at that sales rank. It is 381. So if we go across to Amazon Book Sales Calculator and we have another look and see what that is, 381 is the best selling rank for that book. And we type 381. It does a calculation of how many books is it selling. Now, the BSR changes every hour. So these cannot be accurate to a T but in general, they are they are pretty right. So she's selling approximately 283 books a day. And she's selling it for $7.99. So she's making about $2 royalty on that. So that's a big number. <laughs> I can't even calculate that in my head. But $2 times 280 every day she is making or he I'm assuming it's a she yeah tomorrow and then there's other books here now this one is actually created in kindle well what used to be create space and she's been selling it since January the 3rd 2018 is she doing ads I can't see but as you can see these are very popular this has been around since 2016 and yes it's also a create space which is before kindle but they're, they're the same company basically and that's 3005 so these are all books that are selling extremely well and if you have a look on the cover here this one covers coloring hangman sudoku dot to dot word search word scramble so there's all different things and if you look inside Hopefully there's a look inside feature. Yep, there's a look inside feature. It actually should give you a list of what they do. So there's 20 pages of colouring in, maybe only 10 because you should have a blank page at the back. Uh, dot to dot, images, word search, word scramble, mazes, block counting, cross word filling, United States map quiz, capital quiz. Dots and boxes, so you can play these with friends, tic-tac-toe, hangman, and there's an answer key. So that's just some of the, I'm not logged in, so well, I am logged in, so it should actually show more, but it doesn't. So that is an example of activity books. And yes, if you were to create these, you need to do a lot of research to niche down. But let's go in and actually have a look at the software. So this is the software once you're logged in and on the home page you will see that there is a um, menu bar down the side and there are instructions. So this is the first video where he talks about doing research and about the different books and actually goes into the comic book template which is one of these down here. We did not have a look at comic books but we can go here and if we type comic book templates template for kids you can see the growth and you can see it carrying on and there is over 10,000 but these are advertised as you can see that's been around for ages so the sales since October 2018 so it is on that's got lots of reviews over a thousand reviews so they do sell pretty well and what you need to think about is these books are evergreen so you create them once even if you price them low like this they're probably only making just over a dollar I think maybe just under a dollar but they're selling a book virtually every day and that soon adds up over a year so a dollar a day 365, $365 on just one book. And because the, the method of low content is actually creating lots of books, although quality books, you need that's how you do it. So let's go back. He then also gives seven different videos where he talks you through how to use the software and all the different things that you need to do in which to use the software. 
and he actually doesn't just leave you hanging there in this section he he teaches you how to actually publish the book and he uses canva to put everything together and also use a small PDF to merge the PDFs. And then he explains how to go about creating a cover and how to get the right size. I've also created a video, which will be in the card at the top about getting the correct size as well, using both Canva, PowerPoint and Keynote. And then he also talks about graphics and PDFs. So he explains about the different savings because all of these require different graphics and they require different saving like PNG and JPEG are the one. And he talks about GIMP and GIMP you can use for Windows, Mac and Linux and it's free. So you don't have to worry about Photoshop or anything like that. So the first software, the first thing that you can do, I've already uploaded some pictures that I created earlier and what the kaleidoscope does it actually creates mandalas so you take an image and you click you upload it here you choose the file and it must be a jpeg file for this one so you click on glow and what it does as you're moving your mouse it changes the mandala image now that little ladybug is not very detailed but it is still making some decent images, which is say you're happy with that one there. What you would do is you drag click on it and save the image. And then you could name it, so Mandala or something like that. And it saved it. Then you click and go back and you can choose the same there. You can also change the sizes on how big you want it. So it's how big the it's going to be in your book. Okay, so those are Kaleidoscope, which is great if you're creating mandala colouring books. And what you can do is you can combine them or put them in Canva and put uh, motivational quotes or Bible quotes or prayer quotes or meditation quotes or um, affirmation quotes and just create a complete colouring book on something like that. And you have up to six placeholders but you can delete an image and put a new one in at any time that you want to do then the next one is picture slice and what picture slice does it actually creates a little let's and it's got to be a jpeg i think this one and we'll do it 200 pixel square because it makes it smaller makes it bigger should i say fit for a kid or children so what you can do is you can click here and what it's done is it's split the image up so that you need to draw it within the square so B1 you would be drawing that little back end of the ladybug and that is a, another activity and you can keep doing that with different pictures so if we have a look here and we go back here we can choose the same that will do the mushroom one and you can slice that up and this time there will be a lot more squares for you to have a look at and these are the squares so there's a lot more for you to fill in draw so g3 would be that there and these here all scramble up so it's not you would see the image if it was a1 a2 all next to each other so it just makes it a bit more difficult then there are the layered images now what the layered images does it we'll do it with this one because these kind of look what it does is it just layers all the images next to each other so it's giving you some sort of coloring pattern and you could put a border or something around that as well so and you can change it to light which spreads it out just a little bit more or you can do it tight which makes it really as a tight image so those are those ones then seamless images and this time i've got a 
book, a collection of books and upload the picture and what it does is it actually creates that sort of image there but it doesn't just do that what it also does is it will give you a zip file so what it, the software is doing let's just save that open what the software is doing it gives you the PDF output what we've seen which is that and it will also give you the flips so you could yourself take those images and place them any way you wish using GIMP or Inkscape or the free Canva anything like that so that is that one then the comic templates now these, remember all of these are in the front end, okay? So you can choose which layout you want or you can do a mixture. So you can say, and it's all by eight and a half by 11, which is the, the biggest book size that Kindle does. And for those of you that are outside of the United States, it's an A4 size. Uh, so you can choose your quantity, so you can have 12 and it'll do that and it gives it you all in a PNG or you can download it as a PNG if that was a PDF and you can choose your different styles so you can have your different layouts and there's four different layouts which there is and he's also provided all the speech and thought bubbles then he's got mazes and there are up to six different mazes not only that if you include we'll do the star one include the maze numbers let's say we do five and we'll click go you can do it as a zip file or you can download them individually as pdfs well not individually this one is for the actual mazes and that is for the solution so we click on there it gives us maze one maze two and what you could do is you could put nice images on these just to make them a bit more interesting so if you were doing a halloween book you could put halloween things like um you know the skeleton needs to find the lantern or something like that and those are the solutions so in the front end you have your training you have the kaleidoscope which helps you make mandalas from all sorts of images and you can put colored images in as well but Low, uh, low content books are usually uh, grayscale, mainly because of the printing costs and mainly because they are quick books to write in. Um, then paper games is also in the front end and it includes word searches. Now, the word searches, the words are already there. They are not themed. So... It'll build them quickly for you and they're all sorts of words. Uh, some people like themes, they like uh, Bible quote ones, they like uh, ones about history, ones about trains, you know, but other people just want to find words. So it's up to you, you know, you can put up to 200 and it comes with the solutions as well. So those are the solutions and those are the puzzles. But nobody's puzzle will ever be the same because it randomizes them. So even though he's put a dictionary in there, as you can see, they're all assorted words. But quick, easy, simple. And it only does English as well. Then there's Sudoku. And you can choose the different levels. Hard, medium, easy, mixed. And again, it comes with the solutions. Hangman. Just print them off as many pages as you want to put inside their games to play with and tic-tac-toe and I did mention trivia which is this one and as you can see it's still in development because this is before the launch but even this has changed since I tried it out this morning so there was no button so we can do history only we can uh, do three include answer choices so click the trivia and not working at the moment but like i said ken will be working on it because he himself 
is a programmer. Also, he has a Facebook group, which is very active. He's very active in it and his support is very active in it. And anybody who can answer a question will answer you a question about any of the software or any of the quizzes or if you don't understand how to actually go about publishing your book, even though he has got it covered in here where he explains to you. He's also the programmer of this and the programmer of his other software. So any problems, he's immediately on it, immediately fixing it, things like that. So I'm not worried about it not being supported because I bought his first product two years ago nearly and that has been continually supported even though it was a one-time offer. He's also a best-selling author for one of the dummy book series on Excel and programming in Excel. And the beauty of it, he actually creates these low content books himself and sells them. He's not just some a marketeer who has had some software created for him in a niche he's not known, in a niche he's never been in. He's, he's actually in this niche and he's active in the niche within the Facebook groups. And he's provided something that people want and need. So if you're interested in purchasing it, the link will be down in the description where it'll take you to the sales page. You can also register for the early. So the price is for the front end, which includes the instruction, the kaleidoscope, the picture slice, the layered images, seamless images, comic templates, mazes, and paper games, which include the word search, Shadoku, Hangman, and Tic-Tac-Toe is $47. And the trivia is the upsell, which is $24.95. And like I say, this will be ready and working. So my name is Kerry from Dream Creative B. We'll give you honest reviews and tips about making money. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you want, want more tips about making money online and other honest reviews, please hit the subscribe button.